The Citroën C-Crosser is closer in spirit to the Peugeot 4007. The design of the French is different, but equally extravagant. They only have four-cylinder engines, petrol 2.0 and 2.4 liters, as well as a 2.2-liter diesel. In the line of Mitsubishi Outlander engines, in addition to gasoline engines with a volume of 2.0 and 2.4 liters, there was a 3.0-liter V6, which was aggregated exclusively with the six-band hydromechanical automatic. Peugeot 4007 differs from its Japanese prototype mainly in appearance. There is also a third brother, Citroën C-Crosser. Moreover, the French have common engines, gearboxes with all-wheel drive transmission and suspension design with steering. All three cars were assembled in Russia. The Peugeot 4007 was sold with both five- and seven-seater saloons and three engines, petrol 2.0, 147 horsepower, and 2.4L. 170 horsepower from Outlander and a French turbo diesel 2.2L 156 horsepower. The standard petrol version has a 5-speed manual transmission, while the turbo diesel has a 6-speed one. For a surcharge, a variator was installed on gasoline options. Peugeot 4007 in the basic version of Dynamic meant front-wheel drive and mechanics, two airbags, air conditioning, electric windows, and heated mirrors. The Contort version added a color display climate control, headlight washers, light and rain sensors. The Peugeot 4007 Premium Pack came with leather upholstery, power driver's seat, xenon headlights, parking sensors, Rockford audio system, CD changer, and 18-inch wheels. It also has footrests, a third row of seats, and an automatic second row folding mechanism. Gasoline engines are the same in design and reliability. They use a strong chain in the timing drive. The engines do not have hydraulic valve compensators, they are regulated by the selection of washers every 100,000 kilometers periodically, it is necessary to control the condition of the auxiliary drive belt rollers. The fact is that by 60,000 kilometers the rollers made of plastic wear out, and the belt has a chance to come off them. Turbo diesels with a common rail power system and a flail are trouble free. After 4 to 5 years of operation, it is required to renew the glow plugs, 3,000 rubles as a preventive measure. In order not to spend money on new injection nozzles, they should be periodically flushed with a special liquid. The durability of the fuel pump depends on the quality of the fuel, so it is better to refuel at proven gas stations. At the manual gearbox, by 150,000 kilometers, the arm bushings wear out. The CVT from Eisen on early versions twitches and works noisily. After 2008, it became more durable. The Peugeot 4007 all-wheel drive transmission operates in three modes, 2WD, front-wheel drive, 4WD, all-wheel drive, and lock, the center clutch is forcibly locked. There are almost no weak points in the transmission, except perhaps an outboard bearing, which wears out after 100,000 kilometers. True, it changes along with the cardan shaft, which costs 75,000 rubles from dealers. Usually it is ordered in the Emirates, it is half the price there. In the fully independent suspension of the Peugeot 4007, the main gripes are with the front shock absorbers, which can leak for 15,000 km, wheel bearings, which are changed separately from the hubs, are also short-lived. You can buy cheaper. Racks and bushings of stabilizers nurse more than 100,000 km. In the rear suspension, except for the hub bearings, nothing breaks before 100 to 130,000 km. True, with the full load, the suspension breaks through, so every two or three years you have to change sagging sprays. Engine. The engines are reliable and run on 92 octane gasoline. At risk, radiator, oxygen sensors, mass air flow, item. Transmission. Manuals are durable early versions had problems with CBTs, but after 2010 they were fixed. In an all-wheel drive transmission, by 100,000 kilometers it is necessary to update the outboard bearing which changes as an assembly with the card and shaft. When skidding off-road for a long time, the electronically controlled clutch overheats. Suspension. In the front suspension, shock absorbers do not have a long service life. Wheel bearings do not last long, which can be changed individually and not in pairs. Ball bearings are guaranteed to withstand 90,000 kilometers or more. The rear suspension usually does not make itself felt before 130,000 kilometers. Until this period, only wheel bearings and springs, which sag during frequent operation of the machine with the full load, may not survive. In the brake system, 
more than 60,000 kilometers rarely withstand discs. Over time, the camber angles of the rear wheels leave. Body. Corrosion is not subject, and the paintwork is weak. The rear windows are skewed. In this case, you have to change the U-shaped sealing gum and file the fasteners of one of the guides. Also cracked windshields.